Good morning. Back in Hong Kong. Next day, heading out, gonna get some groceries and uh, start our day. We don't have a key lock. We have a combination lock to get in here and to leave. You just do that. Yay. Heading to the grocery store. Hong Kong is still pretty much sleeping. Sunday morning. Grocery store is somewhere over there. Okay, so we found it. It's welcome 24 7 right there. That's where we're going. In the grocery store now. Got seafood and meat right here. Yeah, looking for breakfast food. We're at the bakery counter getting some goodies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Getting breakfast ready. Leaving the train station and heading down this road. These iron gates can be shut to hold this whole city in, and they were confiscated uh, by the British until the, they uh, protested and they got them back. This was built in 1488, and this is one of the original structures. And you can see they have lanterns down to the entrance where the iron gates are. Pretty cool. Heading right over there. Okay, we had a little bit of a wait, but we made it into the restaurant now. Yeah. Well, this is really nice. They brought us an English menu with pictures so we can decide. Got what everybody's craving right now beer and sponge cake. <laughs> Radish cakes, radish cakes too. Uh, first fail of the trip uh, <laughs> for apparent misuse of chopsticks. Tara, they brought us fork and knife for Tara. <laughs> <laughs> knife and fork, they tried to cut it with chopsticks. And well, I did very, very badly. <laughs> yeah, well, shame on you. And the food is here. We determined that Tara got the uh, fork and knife because she was using the backside of her chopsticks to cut food for all of us, which is in the Japanese tradition, but apparently not Chinese. Uh, there we go. So we just came out of Wingwa restaurant, Thai Wingwa. Thai just means big, and it is big. It's like got 100 tables in it. I want to, foreigners to notice, people that don't know, that there's the entrance right there in the little side alley. And they have stairs or they have an elevator. We're foreigners, we took the elevator. Everybody else is taking the stairs, so I felt a little bit whatever. But I kind of wanted you to see this area. It's kind of cool and it's retro way. It's really uniquely Hong Kongese or maybe Chinese, but it's really cool. And everyone has been super nice here. I just wanted to say that the meal was was amazing. I mean, every single thing that we tried was the best whatever it was that we ever had. We had barbecue beef, we had everything. And also that was $35, $35 bucks US for all four of us to eat. Not $35 per person, $35 with beer and tea and everything. So, highly recommend it. I got lots of ducks lined up in here. It looks really good too. And we are now taking the light rail to our final destination of Bruce Lee's Monastery. Oh yeah. 
and we're on our way up this fairly steep hill to the monastery. And we are walking along this monastery path. It's a small shrine here. Little gazebo. And I still have more to go. And this is it. Bruce Lee's monastery. We just have these last few steps to get up there. People are walking backwards downhill. I also walked backwards uphill after a while. It was easier. All right. And this is what the view looks like from the top. From the very top here. Heading to that boot up there. Got a little shrine in here. A lot of burning incense. Bell in here. And a beautiful view. Okay, you can see here that this is the spot where Bruce Lee was. They have a picture of him here teaching the kid. And this is the, uh, the big tree. So, looks like we found our spot. Yeah. <laughs> 
right. Dig in. And our food arrived. Our little burgers here. Which is, you know, I think it's worth it's worth the wait. And this little guy also has a little butthole in the back. <laughs> Very nice. Yes, I have chosen wisely. And pudding for dessert. This little lid is also edible. It's got a little hat. Oh, <laughs> There it is. <laughs> <laughs>